Today we are in the facilities annex yard uh, right next to our compost operations facility. We're the only higher education institution in the state that is doing a closed loop on compost. So that means we're doing everything from helping our vendors procure BPI certified compostable to go, as well as hauling the materials with our electric tricycles from the greater campus, both front of house and back of house. We started the yard every morning bring the trike over, zoom around campus, and grab all the toters from around campus. Then we'll come back here and we'll begin our sorting process. Uh, we'll weigh it so that we have clear records. We can identify where contamination has come from. We'll sort all the materials to make sure there's no contamination. My name is Amy Nash. I'm currently enrolled at Metropolitan State University of Denver. I'm studying environmental science with a minor in water studies. Putting one item inside the trash can correctly may not feel like you're saving the planet, but in reality, when we have a campus full of 40,000 students, that's 40,000 item of trash, if it's just one item of trash per person per day. And so we can have a big effect if we all work together and take just a few seconds to kind of learn about our composting efforts here. First steps would be happening on this end. Good compost recipe is a balance between carbon-rich wood scraps, compostable materials, and then nitrogen-rich materials, which is our food scraps. Inside the unit, there's an auger that spins and continues to chop up materials to create our recipe. The unit can handle roughly 900 pounds a day. We've been loading it in with like five to 600 pounds a day. In total, over the course of the year, we could process anywhere from like 100 to 300,000 pounds of materials in a year. In the financial year of 2022 to 2023, Auraria campus had 2 million pounds of total waste. And of that, our composting efforts and recycling efforts were able to divert half a million pounds from the landfill. And that was prior to our compost program being set up. So we're definitely looking for some big gains hop on board the bandwagon and sort out some compost. We're in the recipe creation phase right now. Once that recipe is perfected and the compost is cured, then it will be used on our grounds, in our trees, in our soils, on our grasses, all so that way we can avoid those fertilizers. 